spectacular, peaceful, awe-inspiring. These are the Pacaraima Mountains, rated among the least traveled parts of Guyana. But every year, a convoy makes its way to the 14 villages that scatter this magnificent land. The safari begins at the Gael gas station in Georgetown. The state-owned oil company is one of the main sponsors of the event, which is run by Frank Singh's Rainforest Tours. The first leg of the journey is a drive of 350 miles from Georgetown. But that long drive is not without its own attractions. Along the way, we discover the Irokrama rainforest. It's one million hectares in size, all of it protected. It serves as home to some of the largest animals in South America. The only giant I met, however, is this caiman. The forest is managed through this station at Kurupakari. Here, they study how the tropical rainforest can be best used without cutting it down. The actual safari begins at Karasabai in Region 9. The village is named after a rock. The story is that the rock was once a treasure chest that was magically transformed by Makanaima, a legendary god of the Amerindians. In one of the mountains on the outskirts of the village, you can find almost all of the herbs used by village elders in various rites practiced by Guyana's first peoples. The mountain is considered sacred. You can only visit with one of the village leaders. Here at Karasabai, I found humble people who do whatever little work they can find. One of the ladies decided to cook and sell to those passing through the village on the annual safari. I spice hustle, I spice like cooking, baking, bread and salara cooking thing, I hustle. I sell and get the little money. From Karasabai, we headed off into 13 other villages, which straddle regions 8 and 9. These mountains belong to the family of tabletop mountains of Western Guyana and they span some 250 miles across. The mountains are home to the Shai Patamona people. Because the clouds sometimes overtake the top of the mountains, the Patamonas are known as the people of the heavens. It 
It's not just the height, but the temperature could send shivers down your spine. That's no surprise, because the highest village in Guyana, with an elevation of over 3,500 feet, is located in these mountains. The safari began at the start of the new millennium. The roads that we travel along were actually made by hand by the Patamona people. They were looking for an easier way to trade their goods between villages and regions. Now the roads they constructed without any machinery provides relatively easy access to the Pacaraimas. It was here at Keto decades ago that a great potato and onion experiment was undertaken. But because of lack of adequate infrastructure to transport the product to market, the project was abandoned. Now there are plans to generate electricity from the waterfalls in the village. Monkey Mountain is one of the larger Pacaraima communities. It was named for the seasonal migration of monkeys from the northwest to the Kunuku Mountains to the south. At Monkey Mountain, the typical person speaks four languages, Patamona, Makushi, Portuguese, as well as English. East of Monkey Mountain is Taruka. It was settled by Brazilian Amerindians fleeing harsh conditions in their country. It is believed that most of them returned home during the Rupununi uprising of the late 1960s. The most populated of the Pacaraima villages is Parmakatoy, situated 2,500 feet above sea level. We are surviving in the bush. You call it bush, the interior here, the hinterland areas, where it's very hard comparing to the life in Georgetown. But at the same time, you have all the fresh air, you don't buy water, you don't buy your vegetables. Meaning that, yes, those who don't have jobs, we plant our greens, we live, whatever little we do, we can buy our good stuff, you know, like rice, beans other stuff like buy chicken or stuff but those who are planting will actually sell to the more like business people school feeding programs you know the teachers the health personnel those are the ones who buy stuff from them too and we buy farine and so too you know, we make it we sell it that's how we live this way the last stop on the safari is the Arnduk Falls on the Iring River, which forms a border here between Guyana and Brazil. The falls are named after a water weed. If uprooted, dried, burned, and mixed with honey, forms a sort of chewing gum that is prized for its euphoric properties. and you'd be crazy not to indulge in a refreshing bath at the falls, where the river flows over outcrops of jasper.
Indeed, this was an adventure of a lifetime.